Hello again guys, and um, basically today I want to talk about a topic that I do feel very strongly about. I thought that because this is a time where lots of people are doing their exams and revising for them, it would be a good idea to talk about remaining positive. What some people don't understand is that getting good grades isn't just about your intelligence, it's also about you. Like, I believe that everyone is capable of getting what they want to achieve. There are too many people in the world, in my opinion, who are too negative about this sort of thing. They start thinking to themselves, oh, I don't have enough time to revise this. I'm not going to get the good grades I want. I'm not going to be able to get into college with the courses I want to do. But that's not true. If you remain positive in yourself and tell yourself that you can do it, that you will do it, then it will happen. It's as simple as that, really. You can expect to achieve the things you want in life if you're always telling yourself that you're not going to get there. You need to remain positive to achieve these things in life. It's, it's not really just with exams either, it's with anything that could resolve around you being positive or negative. For example, like learning new skills and developing hobbies. There are so many people who find themselves not very good at something and then just give up it completely. Just say, no, I'm not doing this, I can't do it, I'm just not good at this. But that's not really the sort of um, mindset you should have. I'm going to take my drawing it for example. I've still got a lot of improvement to go with my drawing. There are lots of people out in the world who are better than I am. I have improved so much in short spaces of time. In like a few months I'll notice that somehow I've gotten so much better. As well as a high amount of practice when it comes to this, it's also me remaining positive about me getting better. If I had told myself all this time, oh no, you can't draw, you can't animate, it's just not worth it, then I would really not be at the stage I am now with my abilities. So I owe a lot of my skills to this fact that I've actually thought to myself that I will get good at it. And other people being positive about me also helps with that. I remember in year 9 when people used to look at my sketchpad a lot and compliment me on it. Sure, they weren't really the best drawings, I still have it and they're really not that good. But all those comments that people gave me, it did help me be positive. But it was also a lot of my own mindset with it. So basically what I'm trying to say is that don't give up with something just because you feel negative about it at that time. If you try something new and it doesn't seem to be good for you, then just keep working it. You don't know what you could be good at, so don't be afraid to work on things and see how much you can improve on them. With enough effort, and if you work hard at things, then you will get better at them. Writing is another example with mine. I look back at old fanfiction, for example, that I was writing only a year ago or something like that, and they were so much worse than they are now. It's like grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes, just the general writing not being the best. But now, my writing is so much better because I believed it would get better, and I worked hard at it. Obviously, when it comes to getting better at things, you can't just think positive. You won't get good at something if you just think yourself that you will do. You have actually got to work it. But if you just work it and think negatively about it, then it's really not going to help you. You just need to think positively. You need to remain positive. And you will get there. You can achieve things as long as you believe in yourself. So I hope this actually helps some of you rather than just me rambling on like I normally do. I know that some people have actually finished their exams already. Some, some countries have. But a lot of people are still in the middle of their exams, like I am, and some people have still got to start them. And even though I did talk about building skills, I thought that telling you to remain positive and everything would help with the exam period. It might not have helped you whatsoever, you might just find this video complete nonsense. But I really hope it did actually help you, even if it's just a little bit. As usual, thank you so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed to me, feel free to press that button down there. It would really mean a lot to me. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at skiwolf and at dive into anime. And I'm also on fanfiction.net. My username on there is rockme 98 And thank you again for watching and I really hope everything's going well for you and have a good day.